and action, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like it was, it was very like that, and it was so hard to like be in the moment for those moments. I, I know this is a film screen acting debut for you, but do you have a background in musical theater, or do you have experience with musicals? Yeah, so I was actually um, training in to do musical theater and professional dance in London. For t I did two years training in that, and then before that, I had like one year um, foundation acting and musical theater training as well. So I'd been, I'd been, my trajectory was going towards doing more theater stuff, and then this sort of job came along, and then I auditioned for it, and then now life's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're and right, I'm in LA. Right. Like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, what got you interested in, in musicals and theater? Are there specific musicals that were like big touchstones for you that you grew up with loving? Yeah, yeah. I watched loads of movie musicals growing up. That's probably where it started for me really was movie mm. musicals. Like I watched like On the Town, My Fair Lady, um, Oliver and Annie. I had like this, um, this like tape, like with Oliver one side and Annie one side. And I had a little video cassette player in my bedroom and I used to like play it all the time. and and sing along to that and I think that's probably where it came from. I feel like everybody falls in love with a musical at a young age and like yeah. sets them on their path. <laughs> yeah. Well definitely Grease like that was like a big one Ooh. for me and yeah like for me and my sister we used to watch Grease all the time and like always dress up and um, I used to like um, put on like a, a wig and my a skirt and used to tell my sister sorry Lily you can't be Rizzo today that's going to be me. Um, <laughs> And we used to like put on little shows in my living room, but yeah, it was so much fun. Oh, that's incredible. So you have some drag experience then too, from a young age. I mean, seems. yeah, if you want to call that drag, yeah. <laughs> it, was ru it was rubbish, but. Well, I just was talking to your director, Jonathan and Lauren, and they're wonderful. And I asked them what it was like for them to see you and drag for the first time. But I'm so curious, you know, for the film as me, 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 like, what was it like for you to kind of look into the mirror and see yourself as Jamie, as me, me, me the first time? It was really exciting because I was like, um, I'd been a huge fan of drag and drag race for like quite a few years. And like, mm -hmm. I'd always want, like, I don't have the makeup skills. I love makeup and stuff, but I don't have the makeup skills to do that. Nor do I have costuming or wigs slash did I have costume? I, I might have some more wigs now than I did before, but I didn't have <laughs> any of that at home. So I hadn't really played in drag myself. Um, so I, I was like really excited to like see myself like as a drag queen, but after after the excitement, I was like, oh, wow, I'm sort of slightly terrified now of like stepping into it and like what what's going to take over. And actually that bit for me took, took a little bit more time to like mm. adjust to because drag becomes like this weird sort of armor and an extension of yourself that you have to like, there's a line, especially like I was really lucky I was playing a character. Mm -hmm. So I was playing Jamie's Jamie's drag queen. But like, I think if I was stepping into it, my drag persona, it's like, does the persona line up more closely to yourself or is it a character? And there's, you know, I think there's two quite distinctive different ways that the queens work, whether they're really similar to their drag persona or whether they're not. So mm -hmm. I found that quite terrifying. The, the drag performance, that number is incredible. And it sounds like it's challenging in its own ways. But I was going to ask, was there a specific musical number that was like, was the biggest challenge for you that took the most time to prep for and yeah well they all they all took a lot of time to prep for because they all required mostly required me to sing dance and mm -hmm. act all the time so that i mean musical theater prepared me stamina wise for that but like it's a whole different thing doing 12 hour days right. trying to film all of that at the top of my level for you know however many takes take after take angle after angle so they're all extremely challenging, specifically um, the work of art section where I'm yeah. doing this choreography, singing, belting and um, giving it choreography. And we actually shot that. It's like black and white. And we shot that on like two separate days wow. in two different separate costumes on two identical black and white sets. So like it wasn't like a CGI moment where they were like inverting the, the, the frames. Mm. We actually shot it twice. So there was a lot of pressure like choreographically to be like very in sync, very standing on the mark where you were stood yesterday, more so than any other time in, in the shoot because we weren't trying to like frame match. Whereas this, we were like, everyone hold this, everyone mm -hmm. hold it, Max arm down, <laughs> cool and action, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like, it, was, it was very like that. And it was so hard to like be in the moment for those moments and remember the story 
when there's mm-hmm. so much technically going on. So that was probably the most challenging. Yeah, to stay in character with all the technical sides of it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Speaking of character, I think my last big question is just that, you know, others have played Jamie before on stage. A few of them involved with this film, of course. Yeah. How then did you, I, I guess, what was your approach to Jamie? I mean, how did you make the character your own? Yeah, I suppose I, um, I'd seen the show and I loved the show and mm-hmm. I, I, I'm like, a, I'm a fan of the show, you know. Um, my really, really good friend Noah is currently playing Jamie in the West End and I, I love him and when he got the role and like, it was just amazing. They're all so good. But I, I had to forget what I knew about what I'd seen of the role. When you step into something, it's a completely different process of trying to recreate or trying to be um, an outer shell of what you think might be correct. So I had to take all of those guys' performances and take them away and go back to the anchor, which for me is Jamie Campbell and the inspiration behind this entire story. So I watched the documentary. I got to meet Jamie Campbell and uh, get to know him and ask him some really deeply personal questions, which he was so open to give me that information. And just to observe him and I wanted to carry that essence through and then also pour in some of myself into it. You know, I'm, I'm now, you know, I wasn't when I was 16, but I'm now an openly gay man and I have my own experiences that, and my own things that relate to the character that I wanted to pour myself into it as well. And then of course the amazing pre-existing material that I got to use as a, a complete textbook and a springboard, um, which Jonathan, Tom and Dan were all incredibly, um, is the right word malleable like they uh, they allowed yeah. me to like pull things around and to um to really explore the material in a, in a new way they weren't rigid and they weren't asking me to like do things that anyone else had done before so that was yeah. as an actor that was incredibly incredibly great to have the opportunity to work with the original creatives as well because obviously yes. like you're taking something that they've done and moving it onto film it was lovely to have them because i didn't feel too much pressure that i was going to like butcher something that they would already had so much success with and and they looked after me through every step of the, the process so it was really really nice for me to have them ladies and gentlemen Legit. would you give a warm welcome for the soon to be legendary jamie new me sorry miss just daydreaming 